Hey guys, what's going on? This is Campo and welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to be uploading all of my Alliance War Fights from my first war of Season 8. And as you may have noticed, I've recently joined a new alliance, UNCH, the Prometheans. And uh, the funny thing about this alliance is there's actually a video on my channel of when ADT37 uh, faced these guys and they ended up beating us. But I did have a pretty good run of Path 6 and 7. And now I am part of their clan. Uh, two things to note is that their war tier is tier 2, uh, which is great for the multiplier. But it does mean that I'm going to be doing the expert map. And this is my first time doing a tier 2 war. And additionally, Kabam kind of screwed us with the matchmaking as you can see our opponent has uh, 300 extra war rating points and the spread um, is plus 93 and minus 20 so the first fight is um, one pretty much that I'm used to um, I'll explain these boosts a little bit later but for now I'm putting on an invulnerability boost the mutant boosted for later but the main difference with this node in the expert map is it also has aggression fury so basically you can't make many mistakes because you're gonna get clipped so I put the invulnerability boost in because I figured it would either be like a Modok or a Spider-Man and right off the bat that evade uh, triggers the indestructible so I made my one mistake and hopefully I'm good to go for the rest of the fight so now I need to successfully bait a special one and I swiped back too early I think I was just nervous it was my first war with a new group fortunately he has recoil which is doing a little bit of damage but if I had only made that one mistake, it would have been great, but wow, that was absolutely horrible. And because of the armor break, I didn't even get indestructible charges, so I need to bait this special one perfectly. And fortunately, I do show my skill a little bit there that I know how to bait that special one. I've done that fight a million times without the aggression fury, and I usually can pull it off, uh, but that was really, really rough. I'm just so grateful I didn't die. And there were lots of things you know, maybe like the resonate mastery, uh, which, you know, puts a weakness on the opponent. Like maybe that saved my life. The indestructible boost saved my life. What, whatever it is, like I boosted up just enough so that I didn't die. So anyway, um, that was a good story. I potioned up and as you would expect, we have a MODOK. It's stun immune. It's also Bane. I actually really like this matchup uh, when you have Killmonger. Um, so the key is to just get to a special one and bait it out. And, you know, I'm kind of thinking about the uh, Bane transfers, but I'm also just trying to play normal. And at that point, I get my first true strike on. And the fight is pretty much going to go smoothly at this point because he can't auto block. And, you know, hopefully I can just get these Bane transfers together. Uh, that time I did get a really good Bane transfer. He's almost dead. Uh, we just have to kind of dance around a little bit more, do a little backdraft intercept right there. True strike is still up, and that takes care of it. So the Modoc goes down. Uh, I'm usually very confident uh, with Killmonger, and I don't really have to worry too much about potions now because Killmonger is done for this war. I was actually more nervous about these first three fights than anything. So next up is I assumed a kingpin. And because I don't have someone like Stark Enhanced Spider-Man, you've seen this before on my channel, but I use Rogue with two mutant power boosts, the uh, mutant special boost and the mutant power boost. And, you know, the beginning of the fight is always a little bit sketchy as we're trying to build the two bars of power. And, you know, Buffet is very strong on this node. So I always kind of assume I'm going to kind of give him back some regeneration and all that um, <laughs> right there. Thank God I had that indestructible boost on. And, you know, I, I was kind of expecting him to throw a special one, but he threw the uh, the belly up there. So as you can see, the power just keeps going up and up and up because I have those two mutant boosts, the mutant power and the mutant special boost on. And at this point, I try to just kind of do like magic style. Um and always try to get to two bars of power and try to chain them. So I, I haven't quite gotten into the rhythm of the fight yet, but I'm going to have a nice chain of uh, getting the special twos off now. And this is where the big damage comes. So because I have the boosts on, this fight is possible. And, you know, it's a little unconventional, but it's my strategy for dealing with Kingpin. Because, you know, normally Void destroys Node 24, but, uh, you know, what, what you will normally see somebody do is they have like a high damage champion like they'll bring in Stark Spidey just for this fight so I'm about to make a, a pretty big mistake I, I took some hits right there and he's almost dead 
And right there, I got one more special two off. And um, what you're going to find, um, I love chaining those special twos. Now, I don't quite get to a special two here, and I thought I did. And look what happened. So I gained the Fury buff and a regeneration buff from the buffet. Did you know that? That basically it works like a, a slight regeneration buff. So now, um, interestingly enough, I have this permanent, semi-permanent regen buff that, that pretty much gave me back all the health. Um, but my big mistake there was that I um, used a special one, which copies a buff, and it triggered buffet. So basically, it, it was a little sketchy, but um, Rogue really does a good job on that fight, especially if you play well and you use the right boosts. So anyway, now we go back to uh, node 31, and for the next three fights, I'm going to get to use Void, who, you know, I'm, I'm the most comfortable when I'm using Void. Like, if I can use Void on the first part of Path 6... I'm always feeling a little bit better, but those fights didn't call for void. So, you know, this this node is basically the same, only there's no limber. Um, I'm pretty used to fighting stun immune Medusas, so the fact that I can parry, it's, it's going to be pretty easy. But as you can see, sort of the theme of this war is that I'm just sort of making stupid mistakes because I'm, I'm a little nervous. So, you know, I've got Resonate on, which is helpful in this fight because anytime you have an extra debuff, uh, it's going to be a good time for the extra damage. I really lucked out. Like, you, you always want to see something like that where you get two petrifies right at the beginning. And, you know, I have the Killmonger synergy, so I'm regening a little bit of the block damage. I'm just kind of playing passively, just trying not to uh, get the living strands triggered. And uh, at this point, regeneration is completely blocked. She's degening. Everything seems to be going well. Evade the special two. But I got a little cheeky there and uh, went in just as that third fury appeared. Um, but fortunately, you know, I, she didn't do that much damage. And I think that's because of inequity and resonate. So um, those masteries are interesting. I, I think I may have to take off resonate. But if you see all those debuffs and the fact that the weaknesses up and all that it, it actually just helped me not take that much damage uh even though i made a huge mistake like normally if you get parried by medusa it's like instant death uh but her attack is really reduced by those masteries so i have fear of the void i just fired the special one to cancel out her furies just to make the end of the fight a little bit easier um and you know the fight is is long enough that i'm actually regening a good amount of the health uh, based on the Killmonger synergy, which is one of the main reasons I bring him. Um, and then I do the other like cardinal mistake of Marvel Contest of Champions where my battery notification came on. So like, I'm surprised I didn't get kicked by my alliance. Like I've already made a ton of mistakes, uh, but fortunately I haven't died yet. So everything's going very, very well. Um, however, I have two more fights uh, and I will give you a little spoiler. One of them is gonna go really, really well and one of them is not going to go very well so we'll get into that in a minute um, but here we go we have a tech champion and i will say one thing when i see tech champions there isn't a single tech champion that scares me if i have void i don't care what the node is um, this node is explosive personality so it's just you know you got to be careful not to hit into their block that's the only thing that is new for me on the map otherwise this feels just like the normal node um, but i i was kind of like who's it going to be is it sentinel is it og ultron but it's actually uh, iron man infinity war who like back in the day when he first came out he destroyed people on this node but you know the strategy with void is just to uh, be really patient and heavy counter um there there's always a lot of armor associated with this node and i'm i'm never sure if he's in auto block phase or not because like the armor just keeps building up and up so in general you know what you'll see me doing is kind of like intercepting with uh heavies like the heavy counter technique or i'll also if he dashes toward me i'll swipe back and i'll fire a special one uh you'll see me do that a couple times but you know in general like the hits that i'm doing are like because he has crit resistance and because he has all the armor and stuff like the actual physical hits on him are doing like no damage but 
the thing that is killing him is the degen ticking away. You know, as you can see, I haven't crit in like ages. <laughs> and um, additionally, like my hits are only hitting for like, you know, 300, 400, even with fear of the void on. So, you know, this this is a fight where you can easily time out um, if you had someone besides void. But just the fact that I'm able to basically like not even worry about hitting him. Um, at this point, I'm, I'm actually like pretty sure he's just going to die if I don't even touch him. Uh, so I just kind of back off and, and he's almost dead, ticking away for almost 800 damage. And look at that, guys. So that's a fight that like you're expected to time out on. But if you have void, which again, if you're on this path, you probably have void. Um, it really works out. Only 29 hits and he went down. So, OK, so now we get to the part of the war where I make a big mistake and uh, cost my alliance a death. Um, so I'm a little cocky here. I know this is Korg and I decide that I'm only going to do a 10% boost because I figured with arc overload, most of my damage is not going to come from my hits. Um, so as you can see, it's a 565 Korg. I, I don't really look at the profile, but he's SIG 116. So he's really beefy. And my strategy is bait the heavies and just take a little bit of damage and then do medium, light, 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 light. Now, I'm realizing that because I still have the resonate mastery on, every time my weaknesses come up, or many of the times that my weakness comes up, it's going to feed him rock charges. So what I'm trying to do is block and bait heavies and cancel the rock charges. And I do right there, one of my intimidating presence debuffs goes on, another one goes on, and it's a petrify, which is great. So I'm, I'm thinking everything's gonna be fine. You know, uh, soon I'll be canceling out the regeneration. Um, unfortunately, I don't get a second petrify for a really long time. And I'm about to enter a phase where all he's doing is hitting my block. He's not, he's not throwing heavies. Like one, two, three, four, back away. One, two, I actually got hit that time one two three he finally throws a heavy and i get in there but you know because i resonate again it's like feeding the rock shield once again so now the shield is shattered i i had too much power so i couldn't throw another special one that would have completely canceled the regen so now i'm backed up against the wall it's just this fight was not going well for me however i got the second petrify so now if i can just survive he's going to degen himself to death so this is where i make my mistake i hesitated ever so slightly to get in after that heavy attack and he hit me with a special two so i'm really disappointed in myself because like i i finally got the fight under control the rng wasn't really working for me um but like you know you in a fight like that you can't expect to take off too much damage at the beginning it just takes a while to ramp up so i know that the only chance i have on this on this fight is to revive void and just use some potions and get him back up and basically start over and because of arc overload i know basically like he's going to be back to full health right at the beginning of the fight so i still have my regen boost going and i'm hoping that that'll kind of help me with some of the chip damage i'm just kind of thinking about my strategy and uh, this fight goes a little bit better. So um, this is how you're supposed to do it. Um, you know, some people are really good at the light intercepting, but Void's dash back is just a little bit too deep to make that work. So that's why I tried to just do the, uh, what's it called? The um, the blocking and baiting of the heavies. So, all right, we get our first shield shattered. I'm trying to get some, some debuffs on him. No petrify yet. I got the parry there. I'm just kind of throwing some more special ones, really, really hoping I get at least one petrify. I do. So now the fight's looking pretty good. Like a lot of the regen is being canceled out. I have two petrifies now. So technically the fight is under control if I can just survive. Um, once again, every time those weaknesses come up, it's feeding his rock shield. So I think the next time I do this fight, um, I'm just kind of thinking out loud. I'm actually going to change my mastery to not have resonate. And I may do that permanently, or I may just do it if I have this fight. So I, I've learned how to bait that special one, by the way. Um, you basically need to start swiping back on the, the gunshots a lot earlier than you think. I think I do. Well, I get hit there. But if you watch here... You basically have to just start swiping back way earlier than you think. But I, I'm a little proud of myself that I finally figured out how to do that. Uh, in the past, that was the thing that would always get me if he went unblockable. But at this point, I'm just waiting for the arc overload to happen again because I have like essentially four petrifies on. 
And uh, at this point, now he starts degening himself. So, so the fight's like totally under control. He's ticking away for 2,000 damage. I take a special one, super sloppy fight. Like, I'm not proud of this fight at all. But at this point, I know that I've got him. I just have to survive. Um, you know, basically, I'm, I'm almost done. I'm almost done. And I throw one more special one, and he finally goes down. So that was a rough, rough fight. And I, I'm glad I was able to salvage two attack bonuses. I mean, I can't be too hard on myself. It was a 565 SIG, uh, SIG 116 Korg on Arc Overload. My first war in Tier 2 uh, only gave up one death. Like, I'm, I'm not too upset about it. But I, I was actually really, really hoping I could do a perfect run of my first war with this group. But, you know, it happens. And we ended up losing by a pretty big margin because of the the spread they were they were just a higher rated alliance than us so i i feel like my one death wasn't the reason we lost but still i always like to try to play as well as i can so i didn't take any mini bosses because one of my friends uh had blade and he took down green goblin mini boss with blade so i didn't have to worry about any more potions which i thought was a really nice touch but anyway now that i'm in the higher tier i'm thinking of doing a little bit more with the alliance war videos and i appreciate you guys checking this out and uh, that's all i got for today so thanks for checking it out and i'll talk to you guys soon bye